The Matter of Everything, written by Susan Sheehy, published by Knopf Publishing in 2023, and with a snippet read by Richard Coombs. Available for checkout right now at the Alice Pendleton Library. Some years ago, I was sitting at a laptop frowning at the seemingly easy question I'd just been asked by four particle physics professors from the University of Oxford. I had missed their names, not just from nerves, but because my PhD interview was conducted over an unstable internet connection from a motel room in Outback Australia. They had asked me, what do you find fascinating about particle physics? It was a trick, surely. Oxford admission interviews are notoriously tough. In that moment, I decided it was best to be honest. I told them of my wonder at the way physics seemed to be able to describe everything. From the smallest subatomic particles to the atoms that make up our bodies, up to the largest scales of the universe and how all of this was connected. Particle physics, I said, was the foundation of it all. Five years earlier, I had been studying civil engineering at Melbourne University. I had never known that being a physicist was an option. While I'd enjoyed physics in school, I'd only ever known of it leading to a career in engineering. That all changed a year into my university degree, when I was invited along by my classmates to the annual highlight of the Physics Student Society calendar, AstroCamp. One Friday afternoon, we left Melbourne and arrived, two hours later, at the Leon Mao Dark Sky site. The bumpy dirt road led us to a tin-roofed building where we unpacked beer and telescopes, then set up our tents near a large clearing. As the light faded, the temperature dropped, and the sound of cicadas began to pierce the air. To preserve my night vision, I used a hair tie to hold a piece of red cellophane over my torchlight. I clambered into my sleeping bag, grateful for its dual function as a source of warmth and an insect barrier. I breathed in the familiar scent of gum trees. Then I looked up. There's one, the man next to me shouted as a meteor blazed across the sky. As my eyes adjusted to the darkness, the true wonder of this designated dark sky sight revealed itself. The chatter fell to whispers, which in turn fell to a hush. Venus slowly set below the horizon, and other planets came into view. Over the course of that night, I got a sense of the slow but constantly changing nature of the night sky. Through my friend's telescopes, I saw the magnificent rings around Saturn, familiar from pictures but strangely new through a lens, stars forming in nebulae, full of glowing dust and globular clusters sparkling with millions of stars orbiting our galaxy 100,000 light years away. The most spectacular view was the bright band of stars and dust, the glowing arc of our own galaxy, the Milky Way. From the southern hemisphere, we look toward the middle of our disc-shaped galaxy. We're about two-thirds of the way from the middle, orbiting our star, which itself is moving within the Milky Way. The galaxy is cruising through space along with its local group of galaxies at about 600 kilometers per second. Beyond it are billions more like it, stars and nebulae, black holes and quasars, matter formed from energy transformed through immense tracts of space and time. That moment was when I truly grasped how small I was, how short-lived, and how I struggled to put words to the magnitude of what I was seeing. The stars and planets weren't up there, and I wasn't down here. It was all part of one enormous physical system called the universe. I was a part of it too. Of course, I knew that already, but I'd never really felt my place in it until that moment. Suddenly, nothing else mattered. I wanted to know more about gravity and particles and dark matter and relativity, about stars and atoms and light and energy. Above all, I wanted to know how it was all connected and how I was connected with it. I wanted to know if there really was a theory of everything. I felt deeply that all this mattered, that it mattered to me as a human, that understanding this was a goal big enough that if I managed it even a little bit, I'd not have wasted my blip of time as a conscious being. I decided to become a physicist. <laughs>